Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 48 kN acting on the center. In the span BC, there is a uniformly distributed load 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the point A and the point B, there are hinged supports. In the point C, there is a fixed support. The span AB is 3 meter long and span BC is 4 meter long. In the point A, there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end. So, MAB is equal to 0. In the joint B, we have to find two movements, MBA and MBC. In the point C, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, we will have a movement. Here, the movement is MCB. So, totally, we have to find three movements, MBA, MBC and MCB. Also, we have to find three vertical reactions, RA, RB and RC. In the slope deflection method, we have to check the number of supports in which slope can occur. Let us see the conditions. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. In the hinged support, there will be slope. In the roller support also, there will be slope. In this beam, in the points A and B, there are hinged supports. So, the number of supports where slope can occur is equal to 2. In the point A, there is theta A. In the point B, there is theta B. So, in this analysis, there are two unknowns, theta A and theta B. If we calculate these two unknowns, we can easily find the final moments. To find these two unknowns, we need two equilibrium equations. In the point A, there will be no moment because it is a simply supported end. So, MAB is equal to 0. This is our first equilibrium equation. The second equilibrium equation can be made in the joint B. In the joint B, there are two moments, MBA and MBC. When we add these two moments, it will be 0. This is our second equilibrium equation. Now, let us calculate the fixed end moments. First, let us take the span AB. In the span AB, there is a point load 48 kN acting on the center. The formula for the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. After applying the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now, let us calculate the fixed end moments in the span BC. In the span BC, there is a UDL, 15 kN per meter, acting for the full span. The formulas are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. After applying the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations. First, let us make in the span AB. Let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of AB is 3 meter. Let us apply that. In this equation, let us make the first equilibrium equation. We know that MAB is 0. Instead of MAB, let us apply 0. Then, let us take minus 18. On the left side, it will become positive. This is our first equilibrium equation. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the span BC. Let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of BC is 4 meter. Let us apply that. 
in the point C there is a fixed support in the fixed support there will be no slope so theta C will be 0 for theta C let us apply 0 finally we are making two equations we have made one equilibrium equation but we need to we know that the second equilibrium equation can be made in the joint B here MBA plus MBC is equal to 0 for MBA and MBC we have already made the slope deflection equations let us add them after adding we are making the second equilibrium equation let us keep this equation as number 5 now let us solve the first and fifth equations using the calculator after solving we are getting ea theta a and ea theta b let us apply the values of ea theta a and ea theta b in the equation number 2 after applying we are getting mba let us apply the value of ea theta b in the equation number 3 after applying we are getting mbc Finally, let us apply the value of E theta B in the equation number 4. After that, we are getting MCB. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. Now, we are going to calculate the vertical reactions. First, let us take the span AB and calculate the vertical reactions. In the span AB, there is only one moment, MBA, which is acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about B, we can calculate RA, which is equal to 16.17 kN. By applying the rule, summation of vertical forces is equal to 0, we can calculate RB1, which is equal to 31.83 kN. Now let us take the span BC and calculate the vertical reactions. In the span BC there are two moments. MBC which is acting in the anticlockwise direction and MCB which is acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about C we can calculate RB2. By applying the rule summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. We can calculate RC. In the point B, we have calculated RB two times. Let us add them. After adding, we are getting RB, which is equal to 63.14 kN. Now, we are going to draw the shear force diagram. Before drawing the diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am calculating the values from the point A and towards the point C. In this case, I am moving right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using the concept, I have made the values. Using the values, we can make the shear force diagram. Now, we are going to make the bending moment diagram. Before making bending moment diagram, let us make the free moment diagram and the end moment diagram. For drawing the free moment diagram, we have to assume every span as a separate simply supported beam. In the span AB, there is a point load acting on the center. The formula to find the maximum bending moment is WL upon 4. Using the formula, we are getting 36. In the span BC, there is UDL acting for the full span. The formula for the maximum bending moment is WL square upon 8. Using the formula, we are getting 30. Using the end moments, we can make the end moment diagram. Then, we have to combine the free moment diagram and the end moment diagram. So, we will get the bending moment diagram. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.